What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Salsa Today. It's your boy Olu, and I'm going to show you how I turn this boring scene with Boosie Badass to this epic badass scene. So definitely follow along. You know what I mean? You might pick up some gems. Let's get it. Alright guys, what's going on? We got it started, got it open. See right here, you see Boosie is, um, I am standing on the stage. Let me make sure, we scale this down to fit the frame size, okay. So pretty much, here go the scene right here. Alright, first things first. We're going to do a screenshot right here. Make that a PNG. And then we'll go to where that save to. So we go back to the project. So we've got it saved here. So let's go ahead and open that in Photoshop. Give it a second, let Photoshop boot up. Okay, boom, we've got the scene. Turn off view extra. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get a clean plate. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this building right here. And we're gonna use generative fill as well too, y'all. Type in remove building. Let that do its thing. All right, that was dope. It did its thing. All right, it did its thing right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and merge. What a merge broke both layers. Then. We'll make a duplicate layer and we're going to take Boosie completely out so we have that clean plate. I'm not even going to use generative fill. I'm just going to just do a patch tool and now we've got a clean plate. So let's go ahead and save that into the project. And save that as a PNG. You can also save it as a JPEG. I just prefer PNG better though. Let's go back to where we got that video saved that. Okay. Clean plate PNG file. Alright. Okay, now that we've got that, we can go ahead and uh import that into the project. Okay. So now that is in our project. We got a clean plate, play with Boosie. So we'll put Boosie on top of the clean plate. What then we'll do is, we'll do a match tool on Boosie's layer. Okay. Go up here to scale. And we're gonna shrink that down a little bit. Okay, don't worry about this gap. We're going to later replace this gap with this paid asset from Cinepax. The link will be in the description. They have a whole bunch of cool stuff on there that you can use. They got mounts. They got all kinds of stuff. So let's put that in there real quick. Opening it up. Bam, we found it. All right. Let's import that into our project. Okay. And this is not the final scene. We're still going to do a few more compositing to get this all the way tightened all the way up. 
So let's center this. We're going to go ahead and shrink this down till turn on my proxies. Make it load a little faster. And then we're going to go to the back to the Boosie layer. It's a little gap I'm going to get rid of right there. Boom. We're going to go back to the Boosie layer. See his hands are cut off right there, so let's open that up a little bit more. Okay. We got something. Okay. I'm still not there yet, though, y'all. Let's see if I can bring Boosie up a little bit more. And I'm going to shrink him down a little bit. Also, to make sure to feather your mask. Okay. Open this up a little bit more. All right. Okay, so. Boom, we've got that. So now your next step, I'm going to do... I'm going to do some color grading. So let's go to source layer. And I shot this in a Black Magic 6K Pro. Actually, right here, we're going to go to Lumetri. Okay, I'm just going to just throw on, throw on my LUTs. My black magic lets and then also throw on the Rec 709. Hit auto on that. Okay. You see how that's happening? We're gonna apply the same lumetry. Uh, I'm also gonna bump up the midtones. And make it just a little bit warmer. We go to the actual the um color wheel match. I'm going to make the highlights and shadows. I'm going to make that a lot more orange because it's kind of blue. Alright, that's good enough. I'm not trying to super color grade it. So now we're going to apply the same lumetry that's on the actual video clip file, right? We're going to right click, copy that, and we're going to apply that to the clean plate because that's why we've got these harsh edges. So it's going to apply that to the clean plate. Boom. See how that just disappeared? Okay. Now we're working with something. But the magic isn't going to stop here. We also have to color grade this. It was on a kind of like a gray, foggy, humid day. Not humid day. It was just like really bland. Put it like that. So let's desaturate the, um, the whole layer. So Lumetri, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to just dump the what I just did to it. Okay, that's not going to work. So let's just do it. Let's just eyeball it. So let's bump down the saturation. And then let's also make it a little bit more blue. And then let's um, go to Creative, put my LED on there. And boom. Now we got something. We got some, but... We're still not done, guys, because of what a camera, if he's in focus, then this is definitely going to be out of focus. Unless you have it like at a f-stop of like 8 or 12 or whatever. But to really sell this trick, we're going to blur this area. So let's go ahead and export this out of here. And then we're also going to key out the all white with After Effects. All right. Let's export it. When you're exporting, you want to do you you want to do um, QuickTime, ProRes, 422. So let's find that QuickTime. QuickTime Apple ProRes 422 422 HQ. 
And let's go ahead and name this I guess graveyard scene. Yeah, we just done so we're gonna take the footage that was just exported and then we're gonna open it up in After Effects so let's go okay what's up y'all we've got After Effects started so we're gonna go ahead and find our graveyard scene that we just exported from Adobe Premiere we're gonna bring it into After Effects where all the magic happens alright new comp from selection Hold on, let me actually add it on here. So boom, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take out that white, that white sky. And the way you take out that white sky, how you key that out, you need Luma key. So let's go ahead and drop Luma key on there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna select key out brighter spots. And then we're gonna slowly take the threshold up Till we see everything but the white. We don't want to lose any fine detail of Boosie. Okay. Well, of course, of course, we got to hit that, that feather. Feather the edges. Okay. So now, I want you guys to go to Avado Elements. And also... The link is on the bottom if you want to go ahead and get you a, a membership. Definitely hit the link because without a Vado, man, a lot of my videos wouldn't be as hard as they is. So definitely get you a subscription. Definitely a dope, dope, dope software or website to use to find assets. So bring this in there. We're going to drop it underneath the boosty layer we're gonna hit s we're gonna scale that up okay I don't like how much let me turn down the feather and I'm gonna go the opposite direction on the edge then fortunately I'm losing a little bit of his boom that is the sweet spot okay boom so let's go ahead and just duplicate that layer. And let's get this as close as possible. And what we're going to do now, select both layers, both of the storm layers, and we're going to pre-compose. Make sure that move all attributes and adjust account, all that selected. Hit OK. Control D. Duplicate it again. Control D. Duplicate it again. And let's pre-compose these layers one more time. And Control D again. And we're, we're good. And Control D. Just trying to make that storm layer last the duration of the actual video. So, so we're still not done. This is where we're going to actually add the depth of field. So you can either use a paid plugin or you can use an After Effects plugin. I'll show you both results. So what you want to do is you want to select CC. This is for the unpaid. This is for the plugin that's already in Premiere. I mean After Effects. So you're going to go to CC Radial Blur. So make an adjustment layer too. We're gonna place it on there. <clears throat> the reason we're gonna put on an adjustment layer is that we wanna you wanna select zoom for this too. We wanna be able to do a mask to kind of mask it out. You see how that gives it that look already? So let's do a go up here to the square. Let's do a circle and let's do a mask right there. So right now it's just masking that circle. So we're going to have to go to our mask and we're going to have to hit inverted. And then we're also going to feather that mask too as well. So let's feather that mask.
we want to we don't want we want some of the grass to be in there so doesn't have to be perfect and then let's turn down the amount a little bit and that's already in let's full screen it so that's giving the look we want and then we're gonna add on top of this we're gonna add so let me I'll show you before and after so that's before and that's after and as a finishing touch, I'm going to add another adjustment layer. And I am going to use Red Giant Universe. I'm going to use their, this tool right here. So that's the only plate plugin that I'm using, just to give it a little bit more dramaticism. I'm also going to mask that as well. Draw a slight mask on that. And hit invert, go to effects, well go to mask, and I'm going to feather the shit out of that. And I'm also going to just do like half, half of what the effects does, so make everything point half the strength and, sh and stuff. And we've got us an effect. And I could actually I'm gonna go ahead and take down the um I'm gonna take down the blur just a little bit. So I can even go to transparency. I could just turn that down just a tad bit and then go here, hit T on opacity I meant. And we're gonna just turn that down. And let's full screen that. And we are done, y'all. Of course, I'm going to add like maybe some glow, some zoom in, zoom outs. I might take this same shot and I might extend the actual graveyard scene to make it longer and stuff like that. But, you know, that's the whole premise of it. So, if you like tutorials like this, if you like tutorials like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, I got the whole layer from Cinepax. The link is below. Click that link. Definitely got some cool assets in there. And also the, the storm the storm video clip is from Evado Elements. Click the link below too for that. So until the next time, y'all. Appreciate you stopping by. Let's get it.